The first property of liquid is surface tension. It is the amount of energy required to stretch or increase the surface area of a liquid. Example of this is um, water droplet on the coin. So the reason why they stay together in the coin before overflowing is because of surface tension. And when they cannot fight against the gravity, the water molecule or the water will overflow. The surface tension of liquids may vary based on the nature and strength of the intermolecular forces. So, the relationship between intermolecular forces and surface tension, the stronger the intermolecular forces, the greater the surface tension. This is the formula of surface tension in which the stronger the intermolecular forces, the greater the st surface tension. The second properties of water is viscosity. Viscosity refers to a liquid's resistance to flow, which means there is a velocity or movement of the liquid. So one, so the example experiment of this is testing the speed of this different liquid. So first is water, second is alcohol, and cream. So this measuring cup will serve as the measurement of these three kinds of liquid. So first, we'll measure the water, the speed of the water. So it is 2.12 seconds. Next is the alcohol. So the viscosity of alcohol is 3.56 seconds. The third, the third is the cream. So the viscosity of the cream is five point fourteen seconds. The relationship between intermolecular forces and viscosity is that viscosity of liquids increase with the increasing strength of intermolecular forces. So this is the formula. The greater the intermolecular forces, the greater the velocity, viscosity. Heat vaporization refers to the amount of heat and energy necessary to vaporize of one mole of a liquid. Since we are measuring mole of liquid, our unit when it comes to heat, vaporization is kilojoule per mole. This is the example of heat released by the boiling water, in which this heat or energy changes its phase into gas. Heat of vaporization is determined by the intermolecular forces present in the liquid. The relationship between intermolecular forces and heat of vaporization is that substance with high intermolecular forces will have higher heat of vaporization. Fourth properties of a liquid is vapor pressure. Vapor pressure of a liquid is the equilibrium pressure of a vapor above its liquid state in a closed container. So the example of this is a closed container. So we will assume that it's starting to vaporize and now when the pressure of our vapor is equal to liquid, then it is called vapor pressure. Vapor pressure varies from one liquid to another depending on the strength of intermolecular forces. So the relationship of intermolecular forces and vapor pressure is that liquids with strong intermolecular forces will have lower vapor pressure. So this is the formula. properties of water is boiling point. Boiling point defined as the temperature at which vapor pressure or the atmospheric pressure 
Example of that is boiling water. First, the terms external pressure and atmospheric pressure needs to be equal with vapor pressure. When it starts to have bubbles, that means the vapor pressure is equal to the atmospheric pressure. The normal boiling point of a liquid is the temperature at which it boils when the external pressure is 180 m. 180 m or 1 or 1 atmospheric. The relationship between intermolecular forces and boiling water is the greater the intermolecular forces the greater the boiling point. The greater the intermolecular forces, the greater the boiling point. 